Hello, figure skating fans of USA, Canada, and the entire world. Welcome to another exciting episode of Figure Skating Center. Today's episode is all about the 2024 ISU World Figure Skating Championships from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We have a lot to discuss today, so let's get right into the video. Starting with the ice dancing event, for the first time ever, going back to back world titles, is Madison Chuck and Evan Bates of the United States. With a really wonderful performance, you have Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier of Canada in second. With a really beautiful performance. And Charlene Lingard and Marco Fabri of Italy in third. And the other American team. Oh, it didn't really qualify the free skate. And you had Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson of Great Britain in fourth. And Christina Carrera and Anthony Panamarenko of the United States in seventh. And congratulations to Madison Chalk and Evan Bates on not only winning your second world title, but on your upcoming wedding in June. On the women's side, you have Kari Sakamoto of Japan win first. The first to go back to back to back to win three in a row since Peggy Fleming back in, 19, in the 1960s. The first to do it in 56 years. Leaving from 4th place all the way to 1st place. Isabeau Levito of the United States in 2nd. And Chaeyoung Kim of Korea in 6th place to 3rd. And a disappointing showing from Luna Hendricks. Who is the leader after the short program. All the way to 8th in the free skate to 4th overall. And Amber Glenn placing 10th in the free skate. Giving the U.S. women 3 spots for the World Championships next year. And also Ice Dancing got 3 spots for the World Championships in Boston next year. In the men's event, which was a really, really exciting competition with a lot of jumps and comebacks and oh my. In first place, you have Ilya Malinin from the United States in first, winning the, his first world title. From third in the short program to first overall, first in the free skate to win the gold medal. Yuma Kakiyama in second with a brilliant free skate, but had that one silly mistake that cost him the gold medal. And in a shocking turn of events, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. Adam Sio Himfa of France in third place. After finishing 19th in the first group of skaters to come back and win the bronze medal. To me, that was bananas. And yes, he did do a backflip, which was illegal in competition. He did a backflip in the free program. He's like, eh, I don't care. I have nothing to lose. I'm going to do the backflip. Which I know was Siri Bonali did it years ago, but I still think that's the biggest double barrel in skating. And Jason Brown, he was just mesmerizing. He was in fifth place, Jason Brown. He was just mesmerizing. And a real disappointing for Shoma Uno, who was first after the short program. And six, becoming six in the free skate to get fourth place overall. 
So because of Elia Molina's win and Jason Brown in fifth, USA has gotten now three spots for the men at next year's World Championships. And Camden Pelican of the United States in 20th place. And finally, we got to talk about the pairs. In third place from Germany, you have Minerva Famine Haas and Nikita Volodin of Germany in third. In second place, you have Riku Miura and Ryuji Kihara of Japan in second. With a really beautiful free skate, but that one side-by-side -side jump, it cost them the gold medal and when defending their title. And a disappointing story for the Americans, Ellie Kim and Danny O'Shea in 11th. Emily Chan and Spencer and Akira Howe and Valentina Plazas and Maximilio Fernandez finish 11th, 12th, and 13th, giving the USA two spots next year's World Championships. But the highlight of the night, Diana Solano Dudek and Maxine Deschamps of Canada, at the age of 40, at the age of 40, Deanna Solano Dudek is the new world champion at age 40. It was insane. And she really proved that no matter what age, at what age, anything is possible at any age. And I hope all the young people in the audience can learn from her that age is only a number. I mean, she... Competed in the junior level in singles, retired because of injuries, came back at years at age forty, and went into pairs, and became a world champion. That was truly a highlight of this year's world championships in Montreal, and they did it on home ice. All in all, it has been a great season of figure skating. And I cannot wait until next season. I'm Michael Carbonaro saying it is great to skate. And to all you YouTube fans, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for more content. Until then, I'm from our executive producer, Kelly Carbonaro. I'm Michael Carbonaro saying this has been a presentation of Figure Skating Center. Your show for everything figure skating. Thank you, and we'll see you next year. Thank you, and good night, and goodbye for now.